hi, my name is Valerie Carter. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I wanted to start off with um, or today with just two words that the Lord gave me. Um, often when he speaks to me, he speaks to me with such urgency. And I cannot stress enough that when people say the spirit of the Lord told me, the Lord told me more than anything, God wants you to search it out. Open your word. Go to him in prayer. He so wants to engage with you and show you and demonstrate his great love, his great power, and all the thoughts and love that he has for you. So I encourage you actually pick up a hard copy of the Bible. Put down the Bible app. If we think that the government won't censor that, um, I think we're kind of foolish uh, because, and I say that because I have two friends that have NIV Bibles, we're in a Bible study, one's reading her version of her NIV and the other one says, wait a minute, that's not in my NIV. And it turns out that scriptures were pulled out of her Bible and it was a newer NIV. My favorite is the New King James. I grew up on the New King James. It basically went Hebrew and Greek to Latin to King James Version, then they went and took out all the these and thous, and then they put on, then they have the King James Version. It's my favorite. So I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna release these words and I pray that it penetrate your spirit and more than anything that it causes you to seek the Lord out. So Father God, I just come before you, I give you praise and glory because there's no one like you. Thank you that you speak to your people. Thank you that at your name, everybody, both in the spiritual and in the physical realm, they're gonna bow their knee and say and confess, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. And I thank you that at your name, Satan is rebuked and he falls by the sword before us, Father God. So I pray that you be in this message, that you penetrate the hearts of people and that it will cause them to search you out, Lord. We give you praise and glory and honor because there's no one like you and you deserve all of it. You deserve our homes. You deserve our families. You deserve our finances. Father God, you are worthy of it all. So I give you praise and thanks. So um, this first word is, um, it was actually over two nights that he kept speaking this to me. And it says, for the day of the, the Lord of hosts shall come upon everything, the proud and the lofty upon everything lifted up. It shall be brought down sorry, upon everything lifted up, it shall be brought low. The loftiness of man shall be bowed and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low. The Lord alone will be exalted in that day. The idols that have been erected shall be abolished. The wicked will try and hide from the wrath and the terror of the Lord and the glory of his majesty. As I arise, the earth will shake mightily. I will raise up the young. The inexperience will lead over them. America is like Sodom. She doesn't even try to hide her sin. Woe to her for she has been brought evil upon herself. Say to the righteous, they will be safe. They shall reap the fruit of their faithfulness. A reward will be given, but woe to the wicked. They shall be repaid for their evil works. America, you have allowed a woman to rule over you. She has oppressed you by the wicked ways. It was a mistake to let her rule. I wonder who he's talking about. It was a mistake to let her rule. They have led her down a destructive road. They have led America down a destructive road. She crushed my people. That's back speaking of the woman. She crushed my people. She is haughty and adulterous and idolatrous. She is a whore who dances before her false gods. She wears her crown of rule adorned with gold and silver. She covers her stench with fine perfume, but I, the Lord, will strike her down. Her crown will be thrown down into the mud. I will strike her. Her stench will be uncovered. Her royalty replaced with chains. Then she will fall to her death, stricken with disease that she cannot come, from, come back from. I am the branch of the Lord. I am glorious, beautiful, and victorious in all that I do. In that day, my remnant will be called holy, cleansed, and washed over with my blood. 
Thank you, Jesus. When I have washed over America's filthiness and purged her wickedness from her, when I have refined her with my burning spirit, I will create a new dwelling place. I will gather her in the midst within the cloud of glory by day and a shining flame of fire by night. Thank you, Lord. For over all there will be my covering in you, sorry, in me, he's saying in me, you will find a dwelling place a, from the heat. I'm sorry. In me, you will find a dwelling place, shade in the daytime from the heat, a place of refuge and a shelter from the storm and the rain. I've, I I kind of stop here in, in the midst of writing out the word. And I said, I've, I feel like the Lord is, is, is again, he's speaking of the judgment um, and that he's not going to allow this vile antichrist woman um, to no longer be in power. And there's pretty much only one woman that's pretty much in power and she abides over a house of many members and that's who I feel like he's talking about um I could be mistaken um but um I do feel like he's talking about a very particular woman in the house so she has sat on her throne long enough to the point where she has willingly brought America brought destruction on America the lord well, he's speaking of the woman. The Lord will make the plague cling to you until I have consumed you from the land which you are possessing. The Lord, I, the Lord, will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with severe burning fever, with the sword scorching and mildew. They shall pursue you until you perish. And your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze and the earth which is under you shall be iron, almost as if she will be crushed. The Lord will change, um, yeah, change rain of your land to powder and dust from heaven. It shall come down on you until you are destroyed. I feel sorry for this woman, Lord Jesus. Let them repent, Father. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. And you shall become troublesome to all the kingdom of the earth, all the kingdoms of the earth. Your carcass shall be food for the birds of the air and beast of the air, Jezebel. And no one shall frighten the beast away. The Lord will strike you with boils and tumors, with scabs and with the itch from which you cannot be healed. The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of heart. No one shall save you. And I, um, I'm going to go on to my, the next word, which I feel like really connects to this word, which <laughs> it's, it seems they all just seem kind of like, whoa, they're devastating. But God, God does say, he says some good things. So he says, I, I am my people. There is a reason why I tarry. I am sending my fear, the fear of the Lord, my spirit, my wisdom, my knowledge. I have caused confusion among all the enemies. The enemies, they don't even know their own direction. I have turned them on their backs like a cockroach, stuck on its back, flailing to get control. I have sent out hornets against the enemy's encampment. A very pest against the enemy, I have turned the enemy against itself. The enemy's nests have been exposed. The queen is going down. The fruit of her womb and the fruit of the enemy is being destroyed. I shall take this very pest stingers and release them upon the enemy. I don't do it all at once for a reason. So there's a reason why he's tearing. And this is why he says, if I destroy the enemy all at once, your land will be left desolate. And the beasts of the field will rise up against you and become too numerous. So meaning the enemy will grab his foothold. And I think it's talking about an enemy that's outside of America. If he just took everyone down all at once, um, people, people are going to lose their mind. Um, so uh, my people... 
my people will take over little by little, region by region, city by city, because I have turned the, the enemy's barb stinger harpoon onto itself. The enemy if impales itself, target, uh, sorry, targeting his very own destruction, securing my fishermen. I love that he calls us his fishermen. Fishers of men, the catch I have called my people to rope. Their catch and chain the enemy. So we're going to catch the, we're going to be fishers of men and we are going to um, imprison the enemy while we're doing it. I am driving out the enemy from this nation. Don't lose heart. Don't give up. I have set a plan in motion. Haven't I said there is revival? There is a great awakening, a victory that cannot be crushed so good or overturned i have sent you out to be my fishers of men you shall sting the enemy with his own stinger a vicious attack if my people shall humble themselves and pray i shall heal their land that is what is happening he's saying we are humbling ourselves and we are praying that is what is happening and the enemy is chewing up his own. The enemy is spewing its food to its larvae and utterly destroying the nest. It is poisoning its own encampment. I have a timeline for a reason. I am rising up. I am mobilizing my prayer warriors, my armies, my fishers of men. My harvest is ripe and I will I will accomplish all that I speak. Again, I say this is revival. This is revival. Awaken my people to the battle cry, for I am doing a mighty thing. And my timeline is for a purpose. It is all for my covenant and for my victory. So again, I pray that that encourages you. God says, I am going to destroy the wickedness and I'm going to rise up an army. Go and be that army. How do you become that army? Search the Lord out. Spend time in prayer. He only wants to engage with you. He desires to be in a real relationship with you. He says, I call you by name. I named you. I know you. And when you open up his word, boy, does he bring it to life. He wants to just engage with you. So I pray that this bless you. I pray that you become the prayer warrior that God is calling you to be. Have a blessed day.